We often get asked if Voyager 1 will ever return to Earth. They are both headed outward, never to return to Earth. So, can they get closer? And the answer is that for a few months each year, Earth in its orbit around the Sun moves toward the spacecraft faster than they're moving away. So, for a few months each year, we actually gain on the spacecraft. In fact, every year, Earth and Voyager 1 have a close encounter. And in these encounters, we've been able to get some amazing images back. This is an image from Voyager 1 looking back at Earth and our moon. It was taken in 2013. But notice how much smaller the moon looks than Earth. That's because the moon is much farther away from Voyager 1 than Earth is. The moon is about 60,000 kilometers from Earth's surface, but it's about 16 million kilometers from Voyager 1's vantage point. How could this be happening? How can the moon be so far away from Earth, but when we look up, it looks like it's right next to Earth? Well, the reason is perspective. The moon is only about 1 500th the size of Earth. So when you take a picture with a wide angle lens like Voyager 1 has, it makes the moon look like it's right next to Earth. So what does this mean for the future of Voyager 1? Well, it means that for a few months each year, we'll be able to keep getting closer and closer to the spacecraft until finally, in 2027, we'll be able to see it for the first time since 1990. We do not know what we'll find. Maybe it'll be completely dark. Maybe it'll be covered in ice. Or maybe it'll be just as we left it, a silent guardian watching over us from afar. But one thing's for sure, when we find Voyager 1, it'll be one of the most exciting moments in the history of space exploration. You might think that at the speed Voyager is traveling, it would take years to get closer to Earth. But remember, Earth is also moving through space at 30 kilometers per second. That's 108,000 kilometers per hour. So as Earth moves along its orbit, it's actually gaining on Voyager 1, closing the distance between them by as much as 100,000 kilometers per day. That's why every year or two we start to see Voyager 1 getting closer, and closer in our telescopes, until finally, in 2027, it'll be close enough for us to see for ourselves. Will it be dark and lifeless, or will there still be some activity? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, when we find Voyager 1, it'll be one of the most exciting moments in the history of space exploration. If you want to learn more about Voyager 1, be sure to check out our channel. We have tons of videos about the spacecraft, including interviews with some of the people who work on it, you can learn about what happened to Voyager 2 after it flew by Neptune and how scientists are still using it to study the outer solar system.